Sierra Leone, a small country in West Africa, is grappling with one of the highest rates of amputations in the world, due largely to the long-lasting impact of the country's civil war, as well as accidents and diseases. For many amputees here, access to quality prosthetics devices remains out of reach, limiting their ability to perform everyday tasks and engage fully in society. In an effort to address this, the Massachusetts Institute of Technology recently announced an initiative to provide prosthetics services tailored for people in Sierra Leone. But during the Ministry of Health's press conference, it was disclosed that significant portions of land at the National Rehabilitation Center, where the project is slated to take place, have been encroached upon. So in, in, in our meeting with um, the president, one of the things that came out very clear was that we need space. We need the NRC to be cleared so that we can actually be suspect, successful with our project. And that was the appeal that he made to the president. And the president gave us a mandate as a ministry to move on on that, to make sure that the necessary space is created for such a project to come to light. We have a project of this kind that is going to serve the people of Sierra Leone and not just an individual. And um, we needed their support in all of these. And without that particular area cleared up, we cannot proceed with this kind of project. And again, um, it is time bound. Because if we don't act fast as, as, as a nation, we're going to lose this opportunity. Deputy Minister of Health, Dr. Charles Senesi, has issued a stern warning to those encroaching on the property, stressing the need to vacate immediately. He emphasized that failing to clear the land could jeopardize this critical opportunity for Sierra Leone to enhance its prosthetic services. This is a $24 million investment and the equipment are already on their way coming to Sierra Leone. This project is very urgent. That is why we are calling on the Fourth Estate to help us reach out to these people who have encroached the NRC premises. The structures erected on the land have made it difficult for the vehicles to access the premises. We have had talk with them to see how important this is for us as a country, but they are still there. We are pleading to them to exit that premises so we we don't miss out this opportunity. Without full access to the National Rehabilitation Facility, the prosthetic initiative, seen as a lifeline by many, could face delays or even risk cancellation. Such an outcome will mean that a significant portion of the population in urgent need of prosthetic assistance might continue to go without essential support. Dima Conte, AOC.